boys and girls, I'm so glad to see you're back. Let's read again. The name of my story is Gilberto and the Wind by Marie Hall Etz. I hear Wynn whispering at the door. You, he whispers. You. So I get my balloon and I run out to play. At first, Wynn is gentle and just floats my balloon around in the air. But then with a jerk, he grabs it away and carries it up to the top of the tree. I wonder what wind is going to do with his balloon. Wind, oh wind, I say, blow it back to me, please. But he won't. He just laughs and whispers, you, you. Wind loves to play with the wash on the line. He blows the pillow slips into balloons and shakes the sheets and twists the apron strings. And he pulls out all the clothespins that he can. Then he tries on the clothes, though he knows they're too small for him. And Wynn loves umbrellas. Once when I took one out in the rain, he tried to take it away from me. And when he couldn't, he broke it. How would you feel if Wynn broke your balloon or even broke your umbrella? If the gate in the pasture is left unlatched, Wynn plays with that too. He opens it up, then bangs it shut, making it squeak and cry. Wind, oh wind, I say, and I go and climb on. Give me a ride, but with me on it, the gate is just too heavy. Wind can't move it at all because Gilberto is too heavy for the wind. When the grass is tall in the meadow, wind and I like to race. Wind runs ahead, then comes back and starts over. But he always wins because he just runs over the top of the grass and I have to run through it and touch the ground with my feet. Look at the wind blowing, boys and girls. When the big boys on the hill have kites to fly, wind help them out. Wind carries their kites way up to the sky and all around. Wow, look at that kite. But when I have a kite, Wind won't fly it at all. He just drops it. Wind, oh wind, I say, I don't like you today. I wonder why the wind is not blowing Gilberto's kite today. Hmm. When the apples are ripe in the fall, I run with wind to the pasture and wait under the tree and wind always blows one down for me. Do you like apples? I like apples too. And when I have a boat with a paper sail, wind comes and sails it for me, just as he sails big sailboats for sailors in the sea. And when I have a pinwheel, wind comes and plays too. First, I blow it myself to show him how. Then I hold it out and I hold it up. And wind blows it for me. And when he blows it, he turns it so fast that it whirls and sings. 
and I can see it in a blur. Look, boys and girls, look at that pinwheel, how it's blowing in the wind. Wind likes my soap bubbles best of all. He can't make the bubbles. I have to do that myself. But he carries them away, way up high into the air for the sun to color them. Then he blows some back and he makes me laugh. Ha 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 When they burst in my eyes and on the back of my hand. When the leaves have fallen off the trees, I like to sweep them into a pile. But when wind comes along, and just to show that he can sweep without a broom, wind scatters the leaves all around again, and he blows the dirt in my face. Look at Gilberto, he has dirt in his face be because of the wind. Sometimes wind is so strong, he starts breaking the trees and knocking down fences. Then I'm afraid. I run in the house and lock the door. And when wind comes howling after me and tries to squeeze in through the keyhole, I tell him no. But then comes a day when wind is all tired out. Wind, I whisper, oh wind, where are you? Shh, answers the wind, and he stirs one dry leaf to show where he is. So I lie down beside him, and we both go to sleep under the willow tree. And that's the end of Gilberto and the Wind. Thank you, boys and girls, for reading with me again today. <laughs>